Pharmacometric models are very useful in drug development, but let's start with understanding what pharmacometric means. It is the science of quantifying information from drugs, from diseases, and from trial designs so that we have a better understanding of the different factors that are going to come into play. When a model can be developed in a specific disease, it enables drug developers to, to simulate a number of different trial designs, different biomarkers they might want to include, different inclusion-exclusion criteria they might choose, how long the trial is going to run. They can simulate as many of these trial designs as they like, and that gives them a lot more information than they have access to today. If you select the best trial design for your drug, being very clear on which patients should be enrolled and what your, what your um, endpoints might be, you have a much better likelihood of that trial being successful. So that benefits those who are developing the drugs because the chances are that trial would be smaller and shorter, which saves time and money. It also benefits the subjects who enroll in these trials because it's more likely they are enrolling in a trial where they're likely to have benefit. Critical Path Institute has developed a large amount of expertise in the area of model development. And we have been applying these competencies in many disease areas. An example is in the last couple of years, we were successful in acquiring enough evidence through a disease biomarker trial model to support a new biomarker, imaging of total kidney volume, which now can be used to help define the right patients who have polycystic kidney disease. And it really has spurred much more investment from the pharmaceutical industry in trying to solve this devastating disease.